Okay, you got Ken Appleby. This is uh, how to host a website part two. Okay, so uh, previously we uh, we set up the hosting account. We waited for it to get done, and uh, and now you're done. You might have got a conf uh, confirmation email saying, "Hey, uh, you know, we had GoDaddy have finished. You know, set up your hosting account. Now you can play around with it." Uh, if you haven't, it took me about uh, 15, 20 minutes, so I would go by that sort of guideline. Either way, um, when you get in here, what you what you want to do is start to uh, set up your web pages on your in your hosting account for the domain you just created. So we're going to log in. Okay. Go, go, go. All right. So we're going to go to hosting and my hosting account. Okay, so in here you'll have, you know, uh, this is my example realm with cash. You'll have yours. So you'll go to manage this account. Okay, so you're into the hosting manager, the hosting control center. So from here, this is where you put your pages in. Okay, and, that, and then when someone types in, you know, run with cash.info or whatever yours is, they're going to start to actually view some web pages. So, my files. Okay, so the default, uh, this welcome.html, um, Honestly, I don't even know what it is. I just delete it because I don't want it to mess around with my uh, site. So I delete that right off the bat. Yes, sir. Okay, then you start uploading your files, right? So you're sending your files to them. This is what you do. You browse. You find the file that you want. Okay. Uh, where did I put it? Ah, page. Okay. So you find a file that you want like this index file okay and you uh, you upload that it only takes a second tells you it's complete and then you can start doing some more so let's put another one let's let's put them all in there I'll set them all up and then well maybe I won't set them all up probably take a few minutes for it to uh, to recognize anyway either way this is how you do it uh, this is how you uh, get in get in the hosting control center start to upload okay upload your files now you know if you had someone create a page for you then they're gonna give you the files um, if you created it yourself then keep track of where you you know if you used a, you know some sort of a, you know WYSIWYG or any sort of uh, program that you create to web pages front page or whatever if you use that just keep an eye on where your files were stored and uh, you take those files and when you go to publish you, you take those when you publish with that program you take those files and you throw them in here so every website's going to be a little different that's what you got to do okay so um, that's it for this uh, episode in the next one we're going to show you how to um, how to mask a domain okay you got Ken Appleby thanks